Hi, my name is Melanie Chacon, and I'm with Tuila TV, and I am standing here next to Jamie Topham, and she is the owner of the Pegasus Event Center. Can you tell us about the center? Um, yeah, we have 110 acres here. We board horses. We do um, a lesson program. We do horse shows all year round. We do English shows, Western shows. We have people come in, and they have to do obstacles with their horses, and it's about horsemanship. So it's about working with your horse, but they also have to do it with speed. So they'll do things like jump up banks, um, go through water, pass by camels, pass by exotic animals. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. We get a lot of people um, from Tula County, but we also get a lot of people from the surrounding areas as well. That sounds really neat. Cool. Yeah. So Jamie, how'd you get started doing this? Uh, my mom was into horses when she was young. And so when we came along, we children came along, we just got a part of to be a part of the horses and mm -hmm. got my first pony when I was four and never looked back. Wow, that's <laughs> cool. So I know you're an owner, so what else do you do around here? Um, as far as work? Yeah. Actually, I'm an attorney full-time, okay. um, and my husband runs the facility, so he's the one that takes care of managing. I help him feed twice a day. I run and organize all the horse shows, but he's the one that does all the ma daily maintenance care. Oh. So you're also a teacher, right? Yeah, I do. I teach riding lessons. Mm -hmm. I teach English people. Um, we mostly do hunter jumpers. I do more of the advanced people who want to who want to show and and go on to do more. Mm -hmm. um, we have two other trainers here that work out of the barn, and they do more of the beginners. They do the English and the Western. Okay. Yeah. So what's the difference between? English and Western. <laughs> There's a lot of difference, actually. Probably the biggest is the saddle, obviously. Oh. A Western saddle has a horn. Um, that's probably the biggest distinguishing factor. But we do uh, jumping. Uh, so we need a saddle that doesn't have a horn so that mm -hmm. you can easily jump. You're not going to get impaled. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, the training methods are a lot different. Uh, the basic riding is not a whole lot different. I mean, you have to learn balance. You have to learn how to work with your horse. But as far as the the uh, intricacies of it, they're very different. Okay, yeah. So one would have to come here and sort of learn about that separately. Yeah. Or, and, and some of our students, they'll learn Western first, and then they'll transition to English and occasionally goes the other way. Um, not generally at our barn, because we're uh, really a lot of what we do is an English barn <laughs> rather than a Western barn. But. Yeah, neat. So um, what else do you guys do here? Um, we, like I said, we board horses, so we have indoor stalls, we have outdoor, these outdoor runs, as you can see, and yeah. then we also have pasture boarding. Okay. Um, and then we host all the horse shows. We host other events like clinics for clinicians who come out of state. Um, we've got a couple in July that are coming. We have people from Kentucky that do the English ones that come. Um, hosted a wedding a few weeks ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was an interesting experience. Cool. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> so and then we also, um, during the summer months, we have foreign exchange students here. Um, I guess they're not really exchange because they come on the, like a ranch day. They're only here during the summer months while they're out of school. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of fun. We have, we really have a good time having them here. So do you guys ever go outside of here? Do you go on trail rides or anything like that? We do do that. We offer trail rides um, from our facility. We also take our students to horse shows, um, mostly the English shows, but we do a lot of trail riding. Mm -hmm. We do the parade every year. So it's not only kids, it's adults. So who, who can ride here or who can come? Um, anyone can come. We uh, have students as young as four all the way up to, I think our oldest is about 70. Wow, cool. Yep, any ability level. So we can teach from the, you know, the very beginning. They have never met a horse, never seen a horse, never been around a horse. Mm -hmm. We can teach them how to get a horse properly, groom them, how to take care of them. All the way through people who are much more advanced and who just need to brush up on their skills. We have the ability to help all of those people. That's great. Yeah. So do you have horses here they can ride or do they have to have their own? We do have horses that they can ride. Okay. We also have the tack. We even have helmets. The only oh. thing they really need to show up with are appropriate boots. Nice. <laughs> yeah, some jeans and boots, right? Yep. Great. Well, is there anything else that we should know about your awesome facility? Um, I, I think that it's a, the, probably a great place in Tooele County to bring their kids. Yeah. Um, we have a place that's safe. Uh, they can bring their kids without being afraid of what's going to happen with them. We pay attention to them. Safety is very important to us. Same with our horses. We have a great boarding facility. Um, mm -hmm. We treat every boarder like they're our own horses. Um, if they get sick, we're the first ones to call the, we call the owner, then we call the vet. Oh, <laughs> so um, I think... I love the place. I've been here for 22 yeah. years. My parents built it. I grew up here. And we really try to be a part of a good part of the community, make it for everyone to be a part of. We also have a really low key environment. Mm -hmm. We're not, um, 
we try really hard not to be discriminatory or having have people that have that kind of attitude. Mm-hmm. We want everybody to have fun when they're here because horses are expensive yeah. and they are a luxury. And so you should be able to have fun with them when you're doing it. So we try and keep that atmosphere. True. Right. Yeah. Well, this seems like a really great and fun place. So I'm glad that we came and met with you today. How can somebody get involved or come down here? What should they do? They should um, check out our website. It's okay. uh, pegasuseventcenter.com. Okay. Um, and see what's on there what's going on all of our contact information is on there kind of our rates are there as well so they'll okay. they'll know ahead of time and then schedule an appointment to come and see us we're really busy so we're not always just kind of okay. sitting around okay. so yeah scheduling appointments is probably the best thing to do great all right well thanks so much jamie for joining us and for taking the time out of your schedule to come meet with us and share yes. with us so come down to pegasus event center and you'll meet jamie and her trainers and we'll see you then thanks thank you